What's up guys? Mikey Solis here, coming at you guys with another YouTube video. Um, I've been a little busy lately, haven't been able to make a video for you guys, but uh, it's been, it's a nice day out today, so you know, I decided maybe I'd make a YouTube video, not that it has anything to do with the weather, but um, decided to make a video for you guys. Drinking some of that, some of that juice, the drip, Aquafina drip. Um, today's video is going to be kind of a, um, not like a collection, because I don't really collect it as much as I collect shoes, but um, I guess I'll show you guys what I do have, but um, I'm going to show you guys my um, hype clothing collection, I guess you could call it. Um, I've got, I don't have any like Louis Vuitton or like Gucci, like I don't consider that stuff hype, that's more like a designer thing, I can show you guys a designer collection too. Um, it's more like Off-White, Bape, Supreme, uh, Gosha, uh, Vetmonts, um, anything like that. Like any like streetwear hype stuff, anything hype beast really. Um, so I guess I'll start off the video. Um, I do have two pieces of Supreme right now. Um, I do like resell a lot of clothes and stuff. So you guys will see stuff come and go. You guys may see me in a video with certain pieces and then another if i like a week later you guys have to do a review on it i won't have it anymore because i do resell a lot and stuff comes and goes some stuff will sit more than others but um the first item it's just a it's almost like a heather gray um supreme hoodie uh, it's just front and back front and back's gray and then it does say supreme if you guys can see on the side of the sleeve there and almost like an italicized script and it does say it on both the sleeves um the hoodie does feature almost a kangaroo pocket in the front and it does have the hood with the drawstrings uh, my brother actually got this hoodie probably a year ago um, he traded a pair of shoes for it it is a size medium so like it's it's me and him are the same size for like hoodies and shirts and stuff oh it is the large but um, it wouldn't fit either of us. I'm like XL, he's XL, double XL hoodie. So this definitely wouldn't fit any of us. Um, if you guys do see anything in the video that I mentioned is for sale, if you guys would like to trade or hit me up for prices or anything, definitely go ahead and do that. Um, second piece I do have, which is a personal, but like I said, I'm always willing to sell stuff or trade stuff for other pieces because I do like to put new pieces into rotation or uh, have new pieces in the collection just to keep fresh items going. Um, I do have a purple Supreme, oh, sorry, purple Supreme uh, Gucci Mane Beyond Dreams tee. It's, I love this shirt. I think the purple looks really good. And the graphic's really cool too. It's got Beyond Dreams and then the Supreme on the side here. It's a pretty sick shirt. I'm not so much into Supreme as I am like Bape and Off-White. But uh, there are some of the Supreme pieces that I do really like. Um, like the Supreme North Face collab that did drop. Uh, the whole like metallic colorway that they did. They did the gold, silver, and the bronze. Like the jacket, the pants. And then uh, the backpack. They did the waist bag and then like the side bag. And then they also did a hat I think. I love the collection, but uh, it did sell out fairly fast. So, like I was never able to get any of the pieces and resale is always super high. So I never end up getting any of it, but uh, I like Supreme. It's just not, I don't like it as much as I do like Bape and Off-White. More of the Aquafina drip. Ah, stay hydrated, kids. Um, my next piece. Uh, yeah, oh no, I'm going to do... So, I don't know if you guys consider these hype, but um, they have meaning to me. When I was in Vegas, I stopped at Urban Necessities, which if you guys don't know, is probably one of the best sneaker shops, probably one of the biggest sneaker shops in the world. Um, it is located in Vegas. Uh, it's in a mall. I'm not sure. I'm not sure exactly where in Vegas. It's not on the Strip. They are opening up a store on the Strip soon, though. And I actually went last year during the winter to Vegas. And uh, while I was there, they had a, if you guys know, like, what the um, machines are that they have there, 
it's like the uh, key masters or like guys call them heat lockers but the, they have the shoes up on three separate rows and then you get like this little key that you have to put through a hole and then if you put it through the hole it unlocks the shoe and then it pulls the shoe down for you and you win the pair of shoes some of the shoes are like five dollars a play and some of them are a dollar a play so the more expensive shoes sometimes most of the time will be in the five dollar plays but um we played that for a while we didn't win anything i can't remember how much money money we spent but we did spend a lot on the machine trying to win a pair of sample yeezys but we never got them and then uh, they also did have these urban necessities it's pop shirts so uh, what the point of this was is they had a vending machine set up in the vending machine so they had these shirts stacked in the vending machine just like you know how you see like chip bags or whatever stacked up in the vending machine and then uh, you put forty dollars into the machine uh, pick what size of shirt you wanted, what colorway you wanted. So at the time, uh, the re most recent Yeezy drop were the uh, three colorways that dropped just around December, which were the copper, uh, the Oreos, and then the, uh, I call them the infrareds. I'm pretty sure they're called the infrared V2s, the red stripe, the green stripe. What was it? Yeah, they had, sorry. And then they also did have the Oreos too. The Oreos didn't drop with the three colorways, but uh, they did have the Oreos there as well. It was the coppers. The Oreos, infrareds, and the olives. They had all four colorways, and they had separate sizes for them. All right. So if you guys like look this way, we set up in the vending machine and have a size large, and then it shows you what the graphic on the T is. So the T is just it's a black T, and then it's just got the uh, Prime Knit, whatever you want to call it, Prime Knit PK um, Yeezy V2 pattern, the little stripe with the Supply 350 on it, uh, printed right across the front of the shirt. I'm not gonna take them out of the bags because I don't want to refold them and put them in here. I've never worn these just because I do really appreciate the shirts and um, maybe I'll wear them this summer. Um, I do want to get the matching shoes to wear with the shirt. I feel like that'd look really sick. But um, the reason these mean so much to me, when we soft in Vegas, um, I think we bought, I bought the copper one, then my brother bought a beluga one. And uh, I don't have the blue one with me right now because he wears it and it's in his closet. And I don't want to go get it right now. But it's the same. It's the same idea as this. Just it's got the beluga pattern on it. And uh, he also did. We went there on two separate days. So the first day we went there, we spent some money on these. I um, spent some money in the heat locker. Wasn't really sure if I want to buy any shoes from them or not yet. But um, the second day we went back. Uh, we couldn't win anything, and I was like, I don't. I don't know if I'm really gonna buy any shoes because I was like, it's all resell, and uh, with the cost of like since the dollar in Canada is not worth so much as it is in the States I was kind of spending more there than I would here for a pair of shoes so I kind of took into consideration that I could have bought the shoes here for less so I decided not to buy anything while I was there but um, before we left um, Eric decided he put another $40 in to buy one of these shirts before we left and uh, he ended up buying the Oreo one and uh, inside the shirt, so when you pulled the shirt out of the bag, there was a little scratcher card, almost like a like a lottery scratcher. And uh, it was just the size of a business card, and then it had a scratch here, a little circle in it. And uh, you took a coin and scratched it, and either it would say play again, so you didn't win anything, or sometimes it would say like 5% off your purchase, 15% off, whatever like whatever the percentage was. You'd win that, or um, once in a while you'd see a winner come up, and on their card it would say uh, easy. So if it said Yeezy on your scratch off, that would mean that you won a pair in the colorway of the shirt that you bought from the vending machine. So Eric goes, buys one of the shirts. We sit in there, at that point we weren't expecting to have anything. Like we already had a great trip and everything. And like, it would be cool to win something from the store, but like we never thought we would. Eric's sitting there scratching it. And he starts like yelling he what that he won Yeezy. He's like, oh my god, Michael. He's like, look, 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 look. So I like come running over there. It's like scratching it off and it says Yeezy. So we're like freaking out outside the store. We like run in and they were like congratulating us and everything. And uh, Eric ended up getting a size 13 in uh, the Oreos. And uh, he was super stoked, like super excited that he just won a pair of Yeezys for $40. And uh, we were actually on the Instagram page um, with uh j jc i guess you guys call him jc his name's jc lopez he's the owner of the store we were on his instagram page my instagram account got featured on there i was pretty stoked and then uh that's actually when i decided i was like you know what i'm gonna buy a pair of shoes well, my parents bought them for me actually while we were down there um, my parents did buy me the chocolate 750s while we were down there 
Um, they have the little shoe insert, and they do have, you guys won't be able to see it from over there, but you guys can see the inside of the shoe tree there. It does have the Urban Necessities tag uh, with the size and the pricing and everything. They were 800 US dollars, um, and they are size 13, which I mean, for size 13, like at the time I was like, that's a little pricey, but uh, for size 13, looking back on it then, is it actually a decent purchase, like compared to like what a size 13 would go for now, the size is kind of rare for chocolate and 50s but um eric did win a pair of shoes with this shirt so i've never taken this shirt out of the package either other than you guys can see it was opened obviously because eric had to check for the scratcher this one's been open because we checked for a scratcher too but uh, this is the winning one so i don't know if i'm ever gonna wear this i just think it's super good luck maybe if i ever go back i'll wear it just as good luck fortunately i don't have any v2s anymore um i did trade the size 13s i can't remember what i traded them for I've had two pairs of Oreos, olives, coppers, uh, infrareds, zebras, belugas, uh, blue tints, uh, breads. Uh, I think I think that's it for V2s. I'm pretty sure that's it for V2s. I've almost had every V2 that's come out so far uh, pff, other than... I think I've had, yeah, I've had all of them. I've had all of them. But, uh, yeah, that's it for those shirts. So I talked so long for those, but uh, they do have some meaning to me. Um, the next piece, fire pickup. I did pick up a off-white. It's almost like a winter flannel. As you guys can see, it's black and blue. And it's got the uh, off-white direction logo on the back. It's a pretty fire piece um it's actually super warm for what it is like i i've never felt off-white before and uh, the local holt renfrew in edmonton actually sells off-white pieces and uh i actually never thought that i would come across ever getting off-white and then i went there i think it was on black friday and uh, they actually had off-white on sale and i was like oh i was like i'm gonna have to pick it up i think retail on this was 700 and twenty dollars or something like that i got it for a little cheaper because it was black friday and uh, i was like i'll have to pick it up it was my size it was the only uh flannel that they had left and they only had two jackets left and the jackets were on sale for like fifteen hundred dollars and i was like no way am i spending that on an off-white jacket and i didn't really like him anyways but uh yeah super fire piece super like the cotton on here and everything feels super like i'm gonna say high quality but like it's just nice and thick and like wearing in the winter it's really warm um i do get comments all the time of like people asking me like if i paint on my flannels or like i paint on my clothes no i don't people just don't understand like the brand and like off-white and everything and then people will be like oh you didn't well, like how much did you buy it for and then i'll be like oh like almost 700 dollars and people are like oh Oh, and then you catch them off guard, but they don't understand like what it is or anything. But uh, yeah, that's that piece. This is one of my favorite pieces in the collection. I mean, I don't have a lot of hype clothing pieces. I do want to get more, but I'm more of like a guy that likes to show off more when it comes to shoes rather than outfits. But now I'm starting to get more into like showing off when it comes to like clothes and stuff like that. But um, the next piece is actually is got to be like definite top two favorite pieces in the collection it's uh it's an off-white belt as you guys know it most type beasts have an off-white belt you see lots of people wearing fake fake off-white fake bait fake supreme fake anything they can get their hands on because they feel like wearing fake stuff is gonna get them i'm gonna sound like a total tool here but like making they feel like they're gonna get as much as clout as everyone else you're not going to get, you might get clout from your friends because you wear fake stuff, but I mean, if you get called out, you're going to look, you're going to look a little funny in front of everyone, but no, none of my stuff is fake. I can show receipts for everything if you guys would like to see receipts, but I mean, if you guys know me, then you guys know that none of my stuff is fake because I do order all this stuff. Um, Off-White is one of my favorite brands right beside Bait, just the way like their stuff's presented like package wise and everything. But uh, I did cop, it was off the most recent drop. I think it was the spring summer drop. Before, they act, before the drop actually happened, I don't know if it was like a pre-sale or what they were doing, but uh, some of the belts went up for sale 
And uh, as soon as I saw this one come up, I was like, I absolutely love the color. You guys won't be able to see it on camera. I, like, I've looked at other YouTube videos of people reviewing this belt, and you can't quite see it. But the belt's almost got like a metallic shimmer to it. It's an orange metallic. Then you can see it says off-white all over the belt. And then it's a trademarked, basically saying it will support 4,500 pounds. Weight securing system. It's basically supposed to look like a ratchet strap, but it's like an industrial modern belt look to it i think these belts are super sick i've always wanted one i thought i was just going to get one of the regular like yellow and red ones but i saw this one come up and i thought the color was absolutely insane it looks like it might look like white on the camera but um it's the belt's actually orange and it's almost like a it's white but it's got like a slight green hue to it like it's almost like a gold in the dark green if you guys have ever seen that it's like that kind of green i absolutely love the belt um, I have not, I'm not, I don't think I'm going to cut it to size yet. I want to leave it as long as I can and just wear it however I want to. I've seen lots of guys wear it different ways. Guys will wear it like a belt. Guys will wear it like around their leg. Um, they'll wear it around their arms. I think it's a super cool piece. You can do a lot of things with it as far as wearing it goes. It does come in this super sick bag, the off-white logo on the back. And then I love the whole like quotations thing that Virgil does because on the back of the bag, it says product bag in quotations, the whole off-white thing, the whole off-white Nike collection. I want to get a pair of those, but I don't really want to spend resell on them. Um, and if you, guys have ever, if you guys have never ordered anything from off-white, they come with the, by far, the sickest packaging goes to off-white. Even the tape has quotations tape on it. Um, and the inside of the, like the whole box is super sick. I've got all the tags for it still in here. Um, I've got my receipts, my paperwork, the tags, like I said, all of them. I had to cut the zip tie because I couldn't get the zip tie apart. I just wanted to try it on. And then it does come with a uh, like an off-white return tag. I don't know why you'd want to return any of your off-white stuff. But if you ever like got sent the wrong thing and wanted to return it, you can. They do give you an off-white return card. And even the return cards are cool. I absolutely love the products. I just want to smell, sorry, it's probably weird doing that on camera, I just want to smell it because it smells a little funny, but by far the coolest box design out of any company that I've ever, ever, ever I've ever seen, I need some water, I'm parched, and the thirst is real for the next two pieces coming up, the next two pieces are going to be the last two pieces in the collection, they're both bait, um, I'm a big fan of bait, just don't really feel like like some of the hoodies are super sick but like i like buying stuff that i don't see other people wearing because then i know people are going to think it's fire if i'm spending like 500 dollars on a hoodie that everyone already has i don't really want it not that a lot of people where i live wear bait at all i know one other person that wears bait yeah i literally know one other person that wears bait shout out to bird's brother but um the first piece you guys can already tell you guys can already tell you guys see that adidas logo down there you guys probably if you guys know bait know what this is i do have receipts and tags for everything i just don't keep the tags in the bag um i've got like this big like white tupperware i'm not gonna go grab it for you guys right now but like i've got like all my supreme receipts bait receipts all my stuff in there but um this is the down's a little puffy because i just had it stuffed away in the bag but uh, this is the Adidas Bape Collab. The uh, most hype piece of the drop by far to me and most people. I don't really like the NMDs. But this is the uh, Adidas Down Puffer Jacket. You guys can see. It's got the uh, Bape Head on the front. It's a little hard to tell. He's a little sad. But it does have the Bape Head on the front. Uh, it's got the WGM on the side of the hood. The tiger Face on the other side. And then it's got... The pockets on the front, if I grab one for you guys, right there, pocket there. It's got the Adidas three stripes right there. I think it's a super sick piece. I absolutely love bait. I love the camo, the whole thing with like the little bait camo. I think it's all sick. It's got the white stripe running right through the middle. And then uh, the inside of the jacket, I guess I can show you guys. Uh, yes. It does have a Adidas tag, Adidas bathing ape tag. It is a size large. Um, it says it's Japanese large, but so what usually bait 
since Bape's a Chinese brand or Jap, I guess it's not, sorry, it's not a Chinese brand. Bape's Japanese, but like it's Chinese sizing. So quick tip for you guys. You guys ever, the tag doesn't say it on this tag because they're different tags compared to like what the Bape hoodies are and stuff. If you're Bape hoodie, if you're ever looking at the size or the first tag that comes on the hoodie, if it ever says made in China, it's fake. Bape's not made in China. If it says made in Japan, you've got a good indicator that it's real, but you still got to check more stuff than that. But number one, if it's ever made in China, for the most part, most of the stuff, you, when you do your research, you'll understand more. But my number one go-to for me was when I'm legit checking people's bait. If the takes is made in China, it's fake. But I won't tell them, like, right then it's fake. I'll, like, dig deeper into it and, like, see exactly what it is. Or depending on what the piece is, when it's made, all that good stuff. But uh, if you guys want, like, bait legit checking um, videos, I can definitely give those to you guys. It's just got a brown inside, like, almost like a gold. Then it's got a little pull tabs or like little drawstring to make the bottom tight. In case you want to take this thing snowboarding, definitely going to snowboard in this for you guys once. It's got a zipper on the inside. Um, it says Adidas all the way down on this little, I don't know if you guys will be able to see it, this little piece of fabric right here. It says Adidas, the Adidas logo. But yeah, I actually, uh, shout out to Matthew. He got me this jacket. It's set down over there. Um, I actually made a trade with him. I need some agua. Uh, me and him did trade probably a month ago. And uh, I can't remember exactly what I traded him. It was shoes, though. And uh, he definitely hooked it up big time. Because uh, I wanted... I never thought... Just like my just like my pure platinums, I never thought I'd have the jacket. So I was just super stoked to be able to come across one. Um, it actually does fit me being a Japanese large. It's a little weird. But uh, the Adidas Bape collab... Um, some of the stuff fit true to size. Like, if you were a large, it would fit a large... But then, like, the Puma track jacket, when they did, uh, like, the Bape Puma collab, those were Japanese sizes. But, like, the Bape Adidas stuff was, for the most part, true to size for American sizing. I don't know. Just make sure you guys get the right size. Usually, when you order Bape hoodies or anything off of Bape Japan, if you guys go on the website, always order a size up to two sizes up. Never go true to size. If you wear, like, a large hoodie or an extra large hoodie... Like, my hoodie that I'm about to show you guys. I usually wear, like, a large, like, double, or, like, XL usually fits a little baggy on me. I had to go to a double XL in the bait hoodie. But, enough about that. On to the next piece. This is my favorite piece in my collection. If you guys know me, you guys know how much I adore this hoodie for what it is. So, most people, when they see it, go, oh, that's a release that happened over the summer. It's one of the OG Bape re-releases. And when I tell people, and I educate them a little on it, it is an all peach, or salmon, whatever you want to call it. I call it peach. I just had it dry cleaned, and it hasn't been out of the wrapper since dry cleaned. I got a stain on the back of it from opening my car, or my brother opened a car door into me and got a mark on the back of it, but it's all good now. Shout out to the dry cleaners. Um, it's got the shark face on it, full zip, and then on the back, since one of the OG hoodies, before they had the WGM on the side, right across the back, they had P, uh, I don't know if you guys will see it, P-O-N-R, which stood for point and no return, and it's super nice embroidery work, um, as you guys can see, it's got the tiger, you guys will be able to see there's a tiger on the side of the sleeve, and we got the bape head on the sleeve tag, reverse the back of the bape head and then on the other sleeve we do have the black bape shield so like i was saying most people look at it and if they know about bape or they saw the recent drop they'll tell me or they'll be like oh man it's not that cool it's well like people think it's cool but it's not that rare man um it was from the most recent bape drop over the summer but little do they know i bought this before that drop and this hoodie was actually from a 2005 drop, which was called a Nego Exclusive. So a little backstory for you guys. Nego is the founder of Bape. He's like the owner. Kind of started the whole hype behind it. Um, he's big in streetwear and then created his own brand called a Bape, a bathing ape. And uh, some of his hoodies he would produce and uh, some of the concept like hoodies and stuff, he would produce some. And then you basically like, people that know about shoes friends and family releases 
or only for people that are best friends like Kanye when he does like friends and family Yeezys or like Pharrell does friends and family human races. They only go to a certain amount of people because they only want a certain amount out. It was the same thing with this hoodie. Um, Nego had a friends and family release of this hoodie and there's only a few of the hoodies that got out. And uh, when I was at a place in uh, BC, in Vancouver, called uh, Superboard Canada, they, they're like the plug store when it comes to like Bape Supreme, like all the recent drops and stuff, they get like every item that comes out on the drop that's super hype and they get it in like multitudes. Now this stuff's fake, but I wasn't actually going to go to the store when I was down in BC, but I was like, you know what? I was like, we may as well stop there. It was super cool. I've never had to buzz into a store before because of how like expensive it is and high end it is, but we had to like buzz in and they came out, of, came out, like let us into the store and we walked around. And they had like hundreds of thousands of dollars worth of stuff in the store. Like it was insane to see some of the stuff that they had. I saw like multi multi thousand dollar bay hoodies, like supreme like foil. If you I don't know if you guys what like the foil bogos are, they're worth like almost like seventeen hundred dollars. I saw those, but um, I saw this and I was like freaking out because I was like, man, I was like, I don't know if I'm gonna buy it. It was expensive. I'm not gonna tell you guys how much it was, but it was expensive, and. Um, I saw it sitting on the shelf and I was like, man, I was like, what size do you guys have? Cause it was a size large. And uh, they were like this, they were like, yeah, we, size large. And I was like, oh man, I was like, really? And they're like, yeah, sorry, man. And I was like, can I try it on? They're like, yeah, go right ahead. So I pull it off the rack, pull it out of its little protective bag. I try it on and I was like, man, I was like, I'm gonna look at a couple other things, but I was like, I'm gonna think on this. I was like, I've wanted this hoodie for so long. I was like, I didn't know that it still existed really. And I was like, I love the color and I love the whole like concept behind it and the whole Nego exclusive thing. So I was like, we may as well look around a little bit and see what else you guys have. So I was looking around, they had a couple like neighborhood collab bay hoodies. I'm a, some of the blue and green ABC camos, nothing in my size. Then I come back and I was like, so all you guys have is a large. He's like, well, he's like, He's like, I know that all we have is large, but he's like, I'll go see if we have any other stuff for you in the back in your size. Because I was looking for a double XL. I wanted it to fit baggy because I like like the look of Bape when it fits like real baggy and it's like big looking. I think it looks pretty cool. So he goes in the back and like I didn't see him walking back out and he comes up behind me, like puts something down on like the glass cabinet behind me, like the display case, like turn around and he's got one of the, he's got this hoodie like in the bag or like in this bag chilling there and i'm like i'm like oh i'm like did you just bring one out for me and he's like yeah he's like but guess what i was like what he's like i found you a double xl he's like you mustn't have had it, had it listed or he's like i don't know what happened but he's like i was looking through one of our boxes back in the back room and he's like we had another one in double xl and i was like this hoodie is now 13 years old and they had another one in the back i was so so excited so i was like yeah i was like done deal i was like i'm buying it and i think i've worn it like i don't know like 10 times now and i've had offers on it for like 500 dollars, 700 dollars. i've had offers for close to a thousand but like i just i genuinely don't want to sell it yet because it was my first ever like bay putty that i'd bought and uh, I was super stoked to have it. And like when you buy something like that, you usually don't want to get rid of it unless it's like some stupid offer that you get. And uh, I'm absolutely in love with it. Um, I do have pictures on my Instagram with it. If you guys want to go follow my Instagram at Mikey underscore underscore souls. Or if you guys want to follow my sneaker resale account where I do post some of my clothes and stuff. It's at Mikey underscore 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 three underscores in the shoe one. Then souls. Same thing, but with three underscores instead of two. And uh, yeah, I was a huge fan of it. The whole Nego exclusive thing that only some people got it uh, was super cool to me. And then the thing that kind of ruined it was that they re-released it over the summer, which I didn't know about. So like, they're going for like five, six hundred dollars on Grailed. I've seen some go for like seven. I haven't seen a double XL go because the bigger sizes are kind of rare. And um kind of ruined it for me most people see it now and they're like oh it's a release over the summer and i was like no i was like actually this is the 2005 new exclusive one and then they kind of have some respect to me but like some people still won't believe me but like i've got receipts showing that it was bought before the actual release they don't want to get that technical about it but i mean regardless or not i think it's a sick colorway for a hoodie the inside is also peach um super sick if you guys do want to see like uh, Yeezy legit checking videos like on like plats or like any of the 
um, Air Yeezy 2s, any of the V1s, any of the 750s, V2s. I can get a pair of V2s and do a legit check comparison for you guys if you guys want legit checks on bait. Uh, hoodies, tees, jackets, Supreme tees, BOGO hoodies, BOGO shirts, off-white, um, really anything for legit checks. You guys can ask me for a video and I can do like a short like like 10 minute video even on how legit check certain stuff but uh yeah i do appreciate that you guys looked at my uh somewhat small uh hype clothing collection um i do hope you guys like it um if you guys want to like the video for me leave comments on what you guys want to see next i would really appreciate it and i'm um, gonna try to start uh, uploading more often i'm gonna try doing like one video a week unless you guys want to start seeing like two if you guys want to start seeing other stuff like um me going out and do like mall vlogs or whatever i can definitely do those for you guys too if you guys just want to let me know down in the comment section below that'd be great and uh, i'll see you guys in the next video peace out